Hello people, so today we're going to talk about this boy right here, we're going to talk about Crown Zenith. Now, before we get started, uh, a couple of things I wanted to say, sorry if I've been away, I've been extremely busy, if you've been following me, uh, I was down to my last exam, I finally passed it, so it's a matter of days, uh, it should be about 20 days as this video releases, uh, and I will be a, let's say, a licensed mathematician. And then uh, I'm also busy doing some, you know, paperwork uh, to apply for uh, my master, my two-year master, also mathematics. So a bit of a lot of a day I've been busy. That's why I haven't posted. Um, I wasn't thinking about Pokemon. I was a bit active on the on the Discord, but unfortunately I was really busy with, you know, giving the exam, trying to pass it, uh, as well as all the paperwork that I have to fill out for uh, different things about university. Now, that out of the way, what do I want to talk about Crown Zenith? Now, I know I'm pretty, I have a pretty face. However, I want you to look at some data. So, I think Crown Zenith is a good example of how demand is more important than supply. Another good one could be Japanese 151, right? Another good one could also be Evolutions, but that it's a whole different story. Now, the story about Crown Zenith is this guy has been printed to oblivion. First in US and Canada, second in the EU. It was first uh, distributed to oblivion after a reprint in November of 2023 in US and Canada. And uh, let's say the reprint, even though this was never printed in the EU, and the European Union in Europe as a whole happened in February, late February of 2024. Now, these guys, as you can see on the charts, they were both going, both in the EU and the US for 40 euros and 40 dollars respectively, 40. Now, you cannot find them for any lower than 50 on the open market, both euros and dollars. Now, if you've been around the channel, you know that I do have ac access to European data. Now. Look at this chart. This chart is the supply for Crown Zenith ETBs. Unless you're blind, you can see they're going down. So, supply is going down. Uh, it's not confirmed sales. However, with some level of approximation, of estimation, you can assume most of that comes from sale. So, as you can see, they've went from over a thousand ETBs available on the market to now, what, just a bit more than four. 100. More than half the supply has been taken out of the market in a matter of what, three months, four months? Three months, r r roughly uh, two to three months, which is pretty good if, if you ask me. And hence the price. Now, obviously, the relation between price and supply is not linear. However, another interesting thing is if we look at volume, so the market depth, as you can see, we have most of the EDBs now standing obviously right around $60 in, in 60 euros, we would call it a neighborhood of 60 in mathematical terms. So obviously just, you know, uh, roughly $60 less, a little more, you know, plus minus $5, 5 euros. And then also, as you can see, the, the guy with the most listing in the European Union has a bit less than 60 and they're priced at uh, just below 60 euros, as you can read from this dot chart and they're followed by two other listing at a little bit more than 60 euros for a, a bit less than 50 ETBs available. Now, what does it mean? Well, the point of this video is we can, we can learn from it. We can understand that if a set is gigantically huge in demand, popular, and the cards inside the set are awesome. I've always been, if you look at my channel, I've always been a big advocate of Crown Zenith. However, I only have two ETBs. Why? Because I don't really like specialty set. But I do have a, a full case, a seal case of Vistar Universe that I got my hands on right before they spiked. Now, once again, the key takeaway from this is look at the cards within the set. If the cards are, go are good, doesn't matter how much you get printed. It does. I, I can't. I would. I would be lying both to you and mathematically saying that it, it doesn't matter how much a product gets printed, it does. However, it looks like we can see from events repeating over and over, demand is more important 
the supply. Look for something people want or people may want in the future more than what they want now. As soon as that demand shifts, price will follow because it needs to adjust as the supply diminishes. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow for the live stream with uh, my man Best Toys. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.